What were some of the exciting discoveries that you made putting together the sale? We knew that the paint on the rare Andalusian chandelier was original, but still it was very exciting to see it up close in person. I think it was the first time I've ever seen the original red paint on a piece of Royer lighting. It's in such good condition, it's faded just a little bit, really presents beautifully. I think what's so interesting about the Mesa table is that it's such an iconic example of American furniture design, also in the form of an iconic American landscape. And yeah. it really pulls that together and I think the essay addresses this so well, everything that it's sort of represented within Rob Jean Gibbing's career, but also just sort of more broadly in American design. Right. It's also interesting to see how, I mean, on one hand, the table is sort of what you think about when you think of Rob Jean Gibbing, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, you also sometimes think about classical forms mm -hmm. or That's such a good uh, point. reference to antiquity. So mm -hmm. it's this very individual moment in his career that really shows how great of a designer he was. Right, it's like ultimate givings, but also totally a departure from everything else he did. Well, we have to talk about one of my favorite lots in the sale, which is obviously the Claude Lalonde pair of Croco Q oh, rules. Amazing. Yeah, they're so fabulous and so exciting to see a pair, which I feel like, strangely enough, you really don't see them come up yeah, as you a really pair don't. very often. What's special about them to me is, is the way that sort of aluminum presents as almost silver. And that, to me, it makes me think of that Louis XVI, Louis XV yeah. silver furniture of Versailles. I think that it's, from like a decorative arts history perspective, it's hard not to have that come to mind. And yet it is actually in this very utilitarian industrial material of aluminum that's been treated in such a way to have this kind of very polished, luxurious effect. Yeah, I think that's a great point. There's such a sense of luxury when you see them in mm -hmm. person with this crocodile motif mm -hmm. draped over the curul form. Um, but like you said, it is aluminum. I feel like we have a decent amount of works in the sale that really retain truly stunning original patina mm -hmm. or, you know, like the Rietveld chairs retain their original paint, which is also mm -hmm. rather rare. That is, and I think that's important to Rietveld collectors as well. Paint was such an important part of Rietveld's furniture design, especially for some of the earlier designs like the Berlin chair. So to see the original paint layers, and in such good condition. There are really quite a few great examples of American design this season. There's that Nakashima collection, there's the Gibbings, there's the Bertoia, and then of course there's the Tiffany. Yeah, right. I mean, that's um, sort of a great example of American design at the turn of the 20th century. This flower form vase just truly is an exquisite example of the flower form. It is. The bright colors, the, the pink, pink so the height, beautiful. 15 inches is rare. I'm thrilled to have the flower form vase in the sale.